Alright, so how did that win feel? It felt um, very good. It took a little bit um, I can't really express it. You know, this is what I've been working for for so long. It feels great. I'm very elated, but at the same time, I'm still not satisfied. I think I've got a lot more improvements to make. And um, uh, if I learned to relax a little bit more, I'd feel a lot better. But I'm, I'm, I'm happy with it, but I'm, I'm never satisfied. I feel like I need to grow more and learn more and be better and be faster and be stronger. So I'm not completely satisfied. But I'm grateful, and uh, I just I feel really great. I feel like, you know, one of the things I really wanted so bad in my life was WBC. And uh, I got a chance for it. There's no way I was letting it slip out of my hands. So. How does it feel to have that belt around you right now? Oh, uh, I'm not, it's not leaving my, my waist at all. I'm taking, I'm going home with it. I'm going to go home on the airplane with it. Uh, I'm showing everybody I'm that proud of it. I'm, it's not going to be up on a shelf anywhere. It's going to be around my waist for a while. Great. And in a post-fight interview, Joanna said that she would have liked to go a couple more rounds with you. What would have happened if uh, that, was, that was the case? Um, I would have just got warmer and stronger because we came out a little, a little less relaxed than what we normally do. And uh, I was, a, I wouldn't say apprehensive, but I just wanted to see what she was going to bring first. And uh, normally that's not my fight, but me not knowing anything about her, I had to uh, size her up first in the first round and see. But uh, more rounds would have been... Uh, me warming up, we got the combinations, so we put together uh, ten, ten, you know, combinations together. I mean, ten kind of combinations together is nothing that we would have had any kind of problem with, regardless of height or anything like that at all. And how did you train for this fight? Very hard. That's <laughs> how I trained. Um, uh, me and my work, uh, trainer worked uh, several weeks before the match when we thought we we're gonna fight. Uh, when, before we thought we were gonna. Uh, 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 what's that new song? Uh, the Korean girl, I'm sorry. Yeah, we're gonna, well, we trained uh, very hard for that for uh, at least a month before that, and I came here and trained the, the last two and a half weeks. So um, we got with the guys at Throwdown. On top of us, we got the guys at Throwdown and Mark Beecher. And uh, they really, uh, you know, they really, really got me into uh, shape as far as uh, sprinting and, and strength and conditioning and just actual focus being around a lot of fighters. I was sparring with a lot of larger guys, so. Um, it would have been, uh, it was it was more hell than uh, any fight I've ever been through training for this, so it made the fight a lot easier. So, you know, we had plenty of time to train for it, and we were completely prepared for anybody. So, when we heard about the opponent change, we were kind of like, uh, for a second we were kind of a little bit apprehensive, but I mean, we have to take what we can get, there's no matter what, this is for the WBC Championship, we would have fought anybody. That's great. And, um, what are you, what are you up to next now? What's next for you? Uh, I believe I'm going to be back out here in uh, November to fight. Um, I've got a big boxing match in uh, Canada, uh, Toronto, October 9th. So I'm going to be, I've been inactive for 11 months. Today was my first day in the ring in 11 months. And um, next month, boxing match, 10 rounds in Toronto, November, back here in Vegas, fighting for uh, another Muay Thai match, and then hopefully another, uh, another match in December for the world title. That's great. And what's the most rewarding thing about Muay Thai for you? It's just that the most rewarding thing that I get out of it is it's not just the uh, titles. And it's more so, um, I would say more so learning about yourself, learning how far you can take things and how much further you can take it by knowing your limitations. There are no limitations. There's, it's ongoing. I mean, you, can't, you can never learn enough. You can never be better enough. It's, uh, I mean... It's forever, and it's a great lifestyle. You know, be able to do this, be able to fight in front of all these people, all these wonderful people paying for these tickets. You know, and we just train very hard as we can to get back, and uh, that's important to me. And I have a, uh, it's important to me to gain friendships with this. I met a lot of great people here. We know people all over the world, and uh, we're known through all over the world. And that, to me, that's the greatest thing. We've got friends everywhere, so it's a uh, universal language. Fighting to me it is absolutely a universal language. Is there anything else you want to add? Uh, no, uh, yo, Adrian, I did it! Hey! <laughs> yeah, my boys, I'm just happy to, I'm happy to this chance, and like I said, we're going to take it no matter what happens, so it's an opportunity we can never let pass us, so we're taking it home, baby. We love boxing. We love Thai boxing. Boxing's like the blues. How Boy so? Thai is like contemporary jazz. You know, <laughs> more notes. More notes to play. But they both are good. The blues are good and the jazz is good. We love them both. Alright, excellent.
Thank, thank you, you so much. much. Congratulations. We should love you guys the magazine too, by the way. Thank you very much.